Three, two, one. What am I supposed to say? And I said there has to be something different. And I'm a filmmaker and I want to tell a story I've never told before or something that I want to see. I want to make a movie that I want to see. And so at Eurogyro Open Mic, I'd get drunk and I started writing death scenes about a van that killed people. Hell Van. A movie about a van from hell. Well, so the beginning was, uh, Jorge gets drunk and buys this van on the internet and like a month later he starts talking about I'm writing a movie called Hell Van about this van from hell and uh and I was like yeah sure you are man like I, I was like he's never gonna make that fucking movie what is the van killing and who are they in relationship to each other and then after I got these cool kill scenes well, why are all the kill scenes different Right? And it's like, oh, well, every time it kills, it gets more and more powerful. Why is that, you know? And then, and then who are these people that it kills? And then it was like, well, it's the FBI. And I was like, no, it's dumb. We should keep it contained. And at one point in the script writing process, the van was driving across the United States of America, going to all the national monuments, like, because I thought that was cool. Like, oh, it's an opportunity for us to go to the the Devil's Tower in Wyoming or whatever, right? It's dumb. Drunken road trip, drunken road trip, drunken road trip, drunken. <laughs> it's like, okay, it's gonna be a small town. We can do that, a small town. It makes more sense, right? And then uh, that town kept getting smaller and smaller because of our budget. And so he started telling me about this movie, Hellvan, and when he first started talking about it, I was like, holy shit, dude. You might want to rein it in a little bit. This thing sounds like a gigantic spectacle and everything. And I thought it was so cool, but I thought, man, how is this ever going to get pulled off? The original process of the script was a uh, fully functioning, packed drive-in theater. And we were going to have cranes. We were going to tow meteor the rocks up to the top of the cranes and set them on fire and drop them so they'd come down like this in multiple directions all at once and explode all these vehicles with people inside of them. And like, it was uh, a little too big. I was like, well, we can maybe do one meteor. <laughs> if we're lucky, we can do one meteor. And we did. We were all in the same kind of spots with it that, um, understanding how much energy went into it and whatnot, and we're all willing, ready to go to another level of trying to make some kind of feature-length film. And he jumped off the bridge and, and uh, demonstrated his commitment to the project and to trying to make films by buying the Blackmagic cameras, which you know was his commitment in demonstrating it to all of us as we put a production team together. I didn't make this movie. We made this movie. Lewis, Colby, James, Eustothy, Jim Roberts, Karen, all the actors, the musicians. It was, a, it was a super collaborative artistic effort with an idea. And it, to me, I'm super proud of it. And that's, that's the main thing I wanted to say.